Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very, maybe, special episode? It's a brand that I don't love, but I know some of you are going to want to hear about it and talk about it. It is Penelope Nine Year Estate Collection from the patron saint of whiskey, Dave Vogel, saying thank you Dave for the sample. This is like the lowest entry in like Penelope's BTAC. The estate collection now. Now they've been bought by MGP, they have fancy names. Like estate collection to signify pinkies up excellence in drinking, apparently. I don't know. So this is a four grain mash bill from MGP. And you might say, Bourbon Bill, I think I've heard of Penelope nine year before. You did. He's a smart individual. Last year I did a review on Penelope Nine Year. It didn't come in as cool of a bottle with as cool of a label, but Penelope first released a Nine Year last year, and your boy still has some left. This was courtesy of James Street. Thank you, sir, uh, for last year's Nine Year. So we're going we're gonna to just compare them together for you. Price is up a little bit. A little bit. Last year they were like 67 doll hairs. This year they're like 73, 75 doll hairs. So, you know, inflation even got Penelope. Even though they're now owned by MGP, they don't have to source anymore, pay that sourcing tax, the price still went up. What the hell? Should have went down. So, appreciate it, Dave. Now, proof this year, 101.2. But that, but that seems... <gasps> Last year was 109. Oh, so price up, proof down. Ooh, don't know. But hey, now they have access to everything from Penelope. Let's see if it's gotten better. Color. Mmm, just not as dark as I'd like to see it. I'm gonna be honest. Gonna be honest. And again, this is a four grain mash bill with wheat, rye, malted barley, and corn all in there. Let's give it a nosing. Wow, does smell pretty good. It's got a very like caramel bourbon-esque nose, if you will. There's some vanilla, there's some toffee caramel. I'm getting a little fruit on the nose. The nose is pretty good. Does it make you go, wow? No, it doesn't. Does it make you go, hmm? Pinky's up, that's quite good, Charles. Yes, it does. All right, it, it actually honestly smells a little Buffalo Tracy. It's got this like bubble gum fruit thing going on now. I dig it. Down the hatch. Boy, that's a solid sipper. Boy. So it's caramel, a little bit of cherry. Cherry bubble gum thing, I'm getting a little bit of fruit. It's like caramel fruit up front. Rye spice kind of settles in, which really wasn't apparent on the nose, to be honest. Um, the rye spice settles in. And then there's just like a lot of vanilla going on. So it's pretty good. There's a little bit of oak to it. Doesn't taste youthful at all. And, and you know, it shouldn't for nine years old, let's be honest. Feels a little hotter than 101 proof, gotta say. Is it a buy for 75 doll hairs? We'll just say that, okay? It's good. Burn Bill's rating gonna be a b plus b plus i think is good i would like to see it at like 50 to 55 doll hairs at 75 i can get myself some jack daniels barrel proof right i can get you know knob creek 12 i know it's only 100 proof but it's older you know and and that's gonna beat this because i like the oak component that comes with the more age there um I, but but it is pretty good. So if you're a Penelope fan, I'd say pick it up. You're not going to be like, well, all oh, burn bill is only 20 bucks more than I should have paid. That's fine. You know, it, I'm saying it's a B plus in terms of value. I think if you're just going by flavors, I'd give it an A minus. I really would. All right, how does it compare to last year's? That's what you want to know. Last year's at 109, but not quite as fancy of a bottle. Color about the same. Ain't no difference in color. We poured the last year's up here in the mini. Give it a nosing. Oh, a little bit of a different animal. 
last year's is a little bit more like caramel and like a little bit deeper richer oak note on last year's I think yeah it's not as fruity yeah this year's has got the the cherry burst going on with like the vanilla and the caramel it's sweet last year's is a little drier a little more oak to it but also the caramel's there but not the vanilla and the cherry all right down the hatch on last year's okay um last year's has a lot of the caramel a little bit of rice place it's a little bit darker caramel but overall i don't think it's as complex last year's feels thicker longer finish but it's just kind of generic i mean it's good but i think this year's is better to be honest yeah this year's wins this year's wins it's got more going on it's a better journey so i guess if you paid if you paid 65 for last year you were happy with it you know 73 75 doll hairs for this year it's better so in that essence what can you say it's pretty dang good. Now, quick, quick comparisons. We got, we got actually a lot of videos to film tonight, so we gotta keep them succinct and to the point. What else was 75 doll hairs for me this year? Packed an older age demon and was also MGP bourbon. Holy smokes, it's Copper Sky, baby. Limited release. Now, this was a pick from Copper Sky. If you live in an area that delivered from them, you could get it. It's a pick, so I know. Shoot me, okay? That's a star pack burn, Bill, you jackass. Can't get that. Maybe not, but other people were doing, specifically NDPs, were doing good, like, high-aged MGP bourbon, well, and especially rye this year, but this is a bourbon. 11 and a half year old bourbon, 36% rye mash bill, 117 proof, compute, compute, 58.5% alcohol by volume for the low low price of $74.99. Pour it up in the mini here. Penelope can suck it. Now a house brand of MGP and you're not even delivering the same value as NDPs that are buying their barrels from you. Oh, and that's why it didn't get an A. Alright, here's the Copper Sky on the news. So much richer. I mean this is like tobacco, oak, leather, caramel. Oh! Smells so much older and better. All right, down the hatch. That just foreclosed on that Penelope estate. It's done. Sold. More mature. Barrel proof. Thicker. Better. More flavor. Um, I don't know. You know, is the Penelope nine-year estate limited? Probably. Are you going to be able to find one? Probably if you really want one, you will. This is probably more, this is obviously more limited, but if you hunt a little bit harder, you might be able to find like a 10 year plus MGP from an NDP. So there you go. If you like what we saw tonight, please like, comment, and subscribe. Consider joining our Patreon as well. And thank you, Dave Vogel saying for providing the Penelope 9 year 2024 state release. Thank you, James Street, for providing last year's 2023 Penelope 9 year. Have a good evening, everybody.